Hi guys, welcome back. This is lesson number 25 from our Coral Draw training course series. In this exercise, we are going to learn how to create fish eye lens effect in Coral Draw. As you can see that I have here three examples. We will apply that effect to the shape. Okay, then we will apply that effect to the text. And here we have a character that we took from Coral Draw insert character collection. And we will apply lens effect fish eye in that. So let's see how it's done. We are going to move these things to the side here. So first of all, we are going to type text. Okay. So I will go to the text tool and here we will type text. Simply I can type our channel name. Okay. Now we can go to the pick tool and we can copy it, but it is better if it is a continue text. So for that thing, what we can do since the text mode is active, we can select it and control C okay give space and control V I'll just give space and control V so that is okay now we have one line here we can copy this text once again control C copy click at the end here and press enter key and control V again press enter control V we can copy three of them three lines Control C, enter and control V. So here we have uh, text. Okay, so the first thing what we need to do, we need to create a shape, circle shape. Simply we can go to the ellipse tool. Okay, and we will draw a circle. Press control key so you can draw proportionally. Perfect circle from both sides. Now simply you need to bring this circle here. On the top of this text okay what we need to do while it is selected and text is under this circle we'll go to the effect and you can see that here we have lens okay click on lens you can press alt f3 that is a shortcut key of this effect you can click it once you will click this dialog box it's open lens dialog box previously i selected this so it is already here you have a more effects here but you can just click on fish eye and you can see that our text it's become like in magnifier once it is there you can increase and reduce the rate here okay and uh, if i will just click and drag it out now it might not work you can see that so what we need to do while it is there you can click on this option frozen check here and that's all now the effect is applied and if i will click outside and bring it out you can see that it is there now we can move this text to the side okay so here we have text once uh, fish eye lens effect is applied we have two circular shape okay and text itself so once you will break it once you will ungroup it you will see that things directly we cannot uh, fill it because it's a group object so what we can do we can ungroup here you can see that here we have icon ungroup object or you can access from object you know already if you are watching the previous videos here we have ungroup so if i will click on ungroup and click outside if i will click in the white space here i will be able to access the shape one shape is outline okay circular shape and another one is also there that is just filled with white if i will just click and fill the color you will see that it is filled with color this what we can use for the shape we can keep it here and this yellow we are going to fill the color the way we have so let's move this here you can see that here we have a gradient color okay so it's give 3d look so we will use that gradient color in our shape here so i will select this yellow now yellow is selected if i want to select the text i will click on the text so you can see that we have uh, what you call with each letter we have small square under that so this is indicating that the text is selected so i am going to select this shape and we will go to the interactive fill and simply click and drag this way you can see that we have here or this way now we have two points for this fill you can see that here we have orange with the white so in this point i am going to fill the orange so simply i will click and drag this color here at the top itself it is white so it's fine but we need to change the mode here look at this here we have a linear mode we will apply this radial elliptical fountain fill so it comes this way 
little bit the location is changed but don't worry we can bring this orange down here and uh, this one little bit here sometime guys you can see that if you want to move again if you will click now it is a little bit annoying because this small dialog box is coming in front of the point so what is the easy solution you can click on the other point only just click on the other point and now it is free you can move it wherever you want so that is a very nice tip click again here and if you want to change the location for this just move this way and here we can expand the white or we can expand the orange from this slider that way so this is what exactly we need click on pick tool so you can see that the effect is applied but if I want I can rotate the text select the text click in the middle and you will see that rotation control is active just rotate this way we have a rotation the way we have here now if you want to change the color for the text simply fill the color and there you go so that's all now we are going to apply to the shape now we don't need this text we can delete and we can create shape let's go to the shape here you can see that basic shapes in your coral draw polygon might be selected because this is the first tool so you need to go down and select the shape click on basic shape and uh, here previously I selected uh, heart shape so it is selected you can choose heart simply click and drag to draw the heart shape so this is how we have guys here I am going to share with you another very handy and useful tip okay while you are copying the object I will fill color in this object red and we don't need outline right click so here we have previously we learned how to copy object by pressing plus key from the keyboard right so if I will press plus key what does it mean now in the same place we have two object right so I will move it this way and press control key to maintain the same alignment whether you are moving vertically or horizontally let's say this much okay so once I will move the object now object transfer from here to this location and coral draw recorded this action so if I will press control D now with the same distance sequence coral draw will copy the object okay let's try you don't need to perform any other action while you move this object directly press control D okay control D look at this it is maintaining I'm keep pressing there you go you can see that this how with the same distance sequence we duplicate object easily by pressing control D and same thing you can repeat vertically also you can select all of them now this way okay now these all heart shapes selected but first you need to copy press plus key now okay all of them copied and bring them down by pressing control key to maintain the vertical alignment okay here we have now coral draw recorded this action and once I will press control D these all object will be moved with the specific distance so control D and they will maintain the direction also since I move down so it's coming this way so you can see that this is how we can easily copy with the specific distance we can maintain and duplicate by pressing control D we can select all of them okay so that is the size we need now we can select this circle and bring it here I can bring this circle in the front because it is in the back of these uh, heart shapes so I will go to the object so order and to front of the page now our circle is in the front and heart shapes and the back circle is selected simply click here and go to the fish eye so you can see that it's applied and if I want I can increase and reduce here the effect okay I am happy with this result maybe 60 that is fine and click on this option here check here frozen okay so it will be frozen if you will move that object will be trimmed and uh, coral draw will copy them in the circular shape so you can see that here we have now we don't need that all we can delete let's move these things here okay we have two circular shape and heart shapes so first of all we need to ungroup we can go to object group ungroup object all right so click in the white space here to access circle and bring it out another circle also there that is having white fill if we want we can fill any other color to see you can see that it is there so what we need to do we need to now fill the color again but this time our color is green 
another very useful and handy tip I am going to give you if you want to apply the same gradient okay the way we created here if you want to apply to this object you want to duplicate this gradient to this object that is very helpful trick while this shape the yellow shape is selected all what you have to do you need to go to the edit copy property from okay edit copy property from and as you can see that here we have outline pen we have outline color and fill so if we are going to copy the fill we really need to check the fill it is already checked okay you need to make sure that the fill is checked and then click ok and simply bring your mouse cursor to that color okay that you want to copy there just click it you can see that color the gradient color exactly with the same property is copied here you don't need to go again to interactive fill tool and do again lot of effort to bring the same thing here it's already done you need to go back to this here if you want to change color and simply drag the other color that's it so the color has been changed if we want another shade of the green we can click and hold the mouse so you can see that we have different shades for the green here so anyone I will click and that color it will come to that but you need to make sure that you click here on this point so this is what exactly we need now here we have this way if you want you can change this hard shapes but now because if we will select the hard shape one by one we need to select so there is another handy trick what you can do you can select all of them including this circle the green we have in the back press shift key and click on the green there you go now only the hard shapes are selected you can see that and green is deselected we can click in the middle and rotate okay if I want I can change the color all right you can see that this how easily we uh, rotated these object we can group them we can select all of them and here we have option group and this one also we can group all right so let's move these things to the side here bring the other circle for this circle here you can see we have a world map this what we can get from the insert character that is already available in Corel Draw. let's see how we can do that let's close this lens dialog box for now and we'll go to the text go to the text insert character here we have click it and you can see that here we have web dings because previously I selected this so it is there in your case it might be Arial so you need to just go down and find here that uh, category webding okay webding is there and uh, you can see that here we have a map world map so click and drag simply to the screen so it is there that's too small we can increase the size this way we need to match with our circle a little bit bigger in size and bring this circle here on the top I think we need to reduce little okay that is fine okay that is okay now we need to bring this circle in the front let's change the color of this map to some other color maybe we can choose blue click on the circle go to object order and to front of the page now let's try to apply the fish islands effect here we can close insert character dialog box and once again we will go to the effect okay so lens and here we have while the circle is selected once again I will click on fish eye the effect is already applied and we need to increase here the rate that is fine I think 90 frozen and just move it out so you can see that we have here a globe this what we can delete same thing we will do once again ungroup them we'll delete this and here we have another object also let's fill with some color here we have yellow color once again we will copy the property from this object while this object is selected go to edit copy property from fill is active here fill is checked click OK and carefully click on the green background so you can see that that color has been copied now if I want to change I can go to the interactive fill 
select this point here and uh, we can change even here okay so go to the blue and uh, lighter blue I can give this way that's fine another thing if I want I can make it lighter this map color here by pressing control key you can click on white keep clicking uh, here we have now let's select three of them to bring them to the page size all what we have to do we need to group these objects now before we apply the transparency we need to group them so coral draw will consider them one object so select all of them press plus key so we have a copy and we need to mirror vertically because we are going to show the reflection so mirror it and bring them down like this now it's mirrored and uh, it looks more uh, realistic so here we can draw one guide and this object is a little bit up we can bring it down and from down also we can minor alignment we can make this way okay that's fine now we need to apply transparency so select this group and go to transparency you really need to group first otherwise transparency coral draw will apply transparency individually and that will create problem we need to apply as one so it is selected and click and drag so now you can adjust it that's it and same thing we'll do with this go to transparency and simply click and drag and that is applied and you can make adjustment here with the slider you can bring it up okay this much is okay and this object also like this and the last one as well same thing transparency tool is active click and drag a little more maybe okay so that is fine so guys this is how easy and simple way we apply fish eye lens effect to our object on the text on the shape and uh, on the character that we took from coral draw insert character collection we apply reflection here also so here we have a background you know already how to create if you are watching this training series so i will just copy and bring it here i hope you enjoyed this lesson and try to practice guys if you like my video please subscribe my channel and click on the bell button so you will always get notification once i will upload new video thank you